of God, a river of living waters, a fountain that never will run dry. It's an open heaven, your releasing, and we will never be denied. We're stirring up deep, deep wells. We're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna jump in the river. Jump in the river. Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells. We're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna dance in the river. Dance in the river. Deep cries out. Deep cries out to you, deep cries out, deep cries out to you, deep cries out, deep cries out to you, you deserve it. Deep cries out, we cry out to you, we cry out, we cry out to you, we cry out, we cry out to you, Jesus. I've got a river of living waters, a fountain that never will run dry. It's an open heaven, you're releasing, and we will never be denied. Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells, we're stirring up deep, deep waters, we're gonna jump in the river. Jump in the river, cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells. We're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna dance in the river. Dance in the river. Deep cries out, deep cries out to you. Deep cries out, deep cries out to you. We cries out, deep cries out to you. You deserve it. We cry out, we cry out to you. We cry out, we cry out to you. Deep cries out, deep cries out to you. Deep cries out, deep cries out to you. Deep cries out, deep cries out to you. You deserve it. We cry out, we cry out to you. We cry out, we cry out to you. We cry out, we cry out to you. Jesus. Wow, what an amazing song that was. How are you guys? And you look so good, so beautiful. What's your name? Aima. Aima. Yeah. Nice, what a beautiful name. What's your name? Jean. Jean. Okay, so today we're joined by Jean and Aima, and I hope you've been blessed by this song. So we want to welcome you to our Sunday school service this morning. We hope you had a beautiful, beautiful week the whole day, and God has been with you. So welcome as you're going to be blessed more and more for this service. Thank you so much, guys. Clap for yourselves. Oh, and if you're watching, please clap for them. I know you've been blessed too. Now, for our memory verse this morning, we're going to get our memory verse from beautiful, beautiful Shania. So please, well, let's welcome her. And I hope she's going to bless us. Okay, no. And I hope she's going to bless us. Welcome, Shania. Thank you. Praise God, graceful kids. My name is Shenan Namsia, and I'm going to share with us our memory verse for today. Our memory verse for today comes from the book of John chapter 4 verse 13 to 14 if you have your bibles near you can check and it says jesus answered jesus answered everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again but whoever drinks the water i give him will never thirst indeed the water i give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life that's our memory verse for today I would also like to share with you um, I would also like to share with you a, me a memory verse that I like and it and and it comes from the book of 2 Timothy chapter chapter 4 chapter 1 sorry verse 7 and it says for god has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of power love and a sound mind thank you okay so guys welcome into the church you follow me as we welcome teacher neema teacher florence neema she's going to give us the word today Good morning, our beautiful children. Is it another beautiful morning that Jesus has given unto us? I hope you well yourself. I've really missed you. And 
Before we proceed, I just want us to begin with a word of prayer. Close your beautiful eyes. I can see you. You're not closing your eyes. Please close your beautiful eyes. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for yet another beautiful Sunday that you've given unto us. Thank you for what you're about to teach us. Thank you because it's going to be useful in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Uh, today's topic is about Jesus is the living water. What is living water? I believe this is water that gives us life. Have you ever visited a friend of yours? When you get to their home, maybe they'll ask you what you want to drink. What would you choose? Uh, some of us will choose a soda. Some of us will choose a bottle of water. I know most of you will choose a bottle of soda. Yes, soda is sweet. It's beautiful in our mouths. But again... It has a lot of sugar, which may, might end up giving us a lot of calories. But water is what we need to quench our thirst. Maybe you've walked a very long distance. What, what will quench your thirst? A soda wouldn't. Water will do. And a scripture reading. Remember, this is also a memory verse. So you must remember this and go through it. Comes from the book of John chapter 4 verses 13 to 14 john chapter 4 verses 13 and 14 i read jesus answered everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again but whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst indeed. The water I give him will become in him a spring of water wailing up to eternal life. One of these beautiful days, Jesus was walking, had, had a long walk. He was so tired, so he decided to sit beside a well. And then another woman came. I believe you people have heard about this story about the Samaritan woman. So this woman came at the well and Jesus asked for water from her. And she was like, we are not your tribes mate. How can I give you water? In those this, this days, tribes, tribes think don't matter. But in those days, it was a very big deal between one tribe and the other tribe. You couldn't just meet or do things together. But Jesus answered this woman and told her, if you only knew the water that I could give you, you'll drink of it and you'll never be thirsty again. So what, Jesus, what was this water that Jesus was talking about? What is this thirst that Jesus is talking about? Every human being has a thirst for God in their hearts. And this part can only be quenched by Jesus. By Jesus himself in our lives. That's why Jesus is being called the living water. Have you ever seen a fountain flowing? See those beautiful waters flowing? That's Jesus in us. He says it's like this water, it will, it will be like a spring. How many of you have been to Mzima Springs? Have you seen what the water does in Mzima Springs? That's what Jesus is in our lives. He lives in our hearts. He keeps flowing in our hearts. He gives us life. And have you been to a river? What is the surrounding of that river? I believe there are beautiful trees around. And these trees give us beautiful, healthy fruits. So the same way Jesus talked to this woman. And then the woman agreed to have Jesus in her heart. This woman chose Jesus and her life was changed. So even as when we have Jesus flowing in our hearts, living in our hearts, he quenches the thirst and changes our lives. Instead of being angry at our friends, being bullies, 
uh, we hate our friends. Jesus changes our hearts and we just give us, give out beautiful fruits like loving our friends, loving our friends and our family, our brothers and our sisters. Because what? Jesus lives in our hearts. Remember what we learned the other day, super God, super me, super possibilities. Why? Because Jesus lives in our, in our hearts. So today, let us choose Jesus, who is the living water. When he comes into our hearts, Jesus loves, like that, that like that time, Jesus chose a Samaritan tribe, a Samaritan woman. That was a different tribe. Even today, Jesus is choosing every other tribe, every other race. It's not for a particular tribe. It's not about the Jews. Every other child in the world today can choose Jesus. And when they have Jesus, they will have life and they will never thirst anymore. So that's our lesson for the day. I believe you enjoyed the lesson. So let's just thank Jesus. And today we're going to pray differently. Every other day the teacher prays. But I just want you to repeat after me today. So let's close those beautiful eyes even as we pray. Say thank you Jesus for loving us, for being our God and for being in our lives today. We choose you, Jesus, today, that in us you may flow and will bring forth fruits that are full of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's been so awesome to be here. I really miss you guys, and i love to see you again. But before, oh, no song. So see you next time and goodbye. Konzia wapi? It's been so beautiful. Oh, so ngoja. Si ombi sindio? Yeah. It's been so beautiful, guys, being here, just learning with you. I believe you enjoyed the lesson. Until next time, God keep you. God be with you. We miss you. We love you so much. Bye. I was made for this. I live for this. God has a reason. Reason for my life. I'm going to shout it out. Without a doubt, I was born for this. Built for a purpose. Oh, 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 oh. There is a God who made it all. Everything we see. He built the mountains, filled the oceans, and he built me. He's with me, he's for me, I am not alone. He's with me, he's for me, I know, I know that I was made for this, I live for this. God has a reason, reason for my life, I'm gonna shout it out. Without a doubt, I was born for this, built for a purpose. Oh, 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 oh. He's with me, he's for me, I am not alone. He's with me, he's for me, I am not alone. He's with me, he's for me, I am not alone. He's with me, he's for me, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that I was made for this. I live for this. God has a reason, reason for my life. I'm gonna shout it out without a doubt.